that again. Yeah. All right, we have one privilege of the form request today. Miss, um, is it Deborah? Okay, I can't read this. It's not Deborah Rowland. We've met before, so but you can go ahead and walk up. Um, is here to talk about the driveway permit. I'm sorry, I did not copy well. Driveway permit policy. Okay, All right. five minutes. The floor is yours. I just want to clear a few things up. Um, my husband and I get to the nice machine on the corner of 84 and nice shoe drive in Calvary. Um, we're not aware of the situation in the Um, we did get a letter saying what we need to do, the information we need to get up. Um, then the next letter, I believe, I had for seven days, I had gone in online. County uh, website and put in the permit. I did not hear anything for a day or two. I went back and I resubmitted another permit. Again, I waited a few days. I did not get an answer. Therefore, I called the County Road and Bridge Department. It was straight to the gentleman. Okay. Um, I said, okay, well, I just don't understand why they're not going through. She had uh, taken my number and I got a return call from Chris. Chris informed me that he did not get them, did not know of anybody that did get them, but I might have gone on the old website. And he gave, I said, well, I said, what is the new website that I need to be doing this on? And again, I mean, four or five days have passed, okay? He gave me the new website email address. I asked him, I said, well, let me ask you a question. Why is the old email address up? Or you go on the old whatever. How, how, why hasn't that one been taken down? I said, sure, I'm not the only one who's had this problem. Well, he just didn't know. I said, well, somebody needs to do something. I sent in another one. Well, by that time, we were informed, again, the seven days were up, and we were informed that our driveway was going to be blocked. Well, sure enough, it was blocked. Tyler was out there the day before, told us it was going to be uh, ordered off with the, the poles, and that is because we did not submit a permit. Well, in the first place, the first letter told us what we needed to get in place to do this. And from everybody we talked to, that's not a situation that is done in seven days, okay? We can talk to the correct people because we have a state uh, portion there and they require all the information that y'all ask for. And they, I had put the permit in for them and they said, we know it's gonna take a while to get this and then it's gonna take us another, another six to eight weeks before this is done. And we said, okay, well, and yeah, if y'all decided after you didn't get a permit within that seven days that, yeah, you know, we knew what we had to get ready. Working on that, talking to people, okay, still, you blocked our driveway. Um, I have talked to, and my husband may talk to other people. And my main concern right here is we have been told that we lie about applying permits at first two. Well, you're right. There was no me to it. It was me. I'm the one who went online. I'm the one who made the phone calls. You're calling me a liar. And I don't appreciate it. I don't lie. And you can do what you want to. We're getting the information up for the state, and that should be enough to give to you as well. If there's something else we need, you let us know. But in the meantime, we will continue with our project. You're hurting not just us, but the people who went to stop there. You're hurting our business, which is our livelihood, and we don't appreciate it. Now, we're not perfect if we make errors, just like y'all do. 
But again, I'm here to state mainly that I'm not a liar. I don't lie. I, permit, I did submit two permit requests. Thank you. Do you mind if I ask you some questions real quick? So you submitted a form. There's a form on our website, and that's what you filled out. Mm -hmm. So it was Actually, no. What I did was I went in there, I filled out a, 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 a paper, and hit submit. And that was it. Nothing, nothing was behind it. And that's what Chris asked me. He said, there should have been another paper behind it. I said, well, there wasn't. I filled out the first one, hit submit, and thought that was it. So I went back and did the same thing. And then, again, I got no response. That's whenever I called, and he told me that it had been, it had been there had been a change, and I needed to go on a new website in order to get that permit to go through. And when I got it to go through, I believe it was Tyler who come back and let me know that it was received. Because I checked with him, that was the day before he came out there that I got that. I double checked with him and put it in my phone what the correct address was. Website okay. address. Website address. You still have the old website address that you went to initially? I don't know. And that's my fault. I did not put it out. I did not get any papers work any paperwork out. Um, but like I said, Tyler did email me back and said that he had received it then. But then the next day, we got up and y'all were putting the post up on our property, or on the county's property. Okay, we'll look into our, I see our IT director in the back. I thought the old website was down, but we will check into that. It should be down if it's not. Well, like I said, that's what Chris told me. He said, you must have gone on the old website. And I deal with emails all day long, and I don't remember which website I put in for what, but I put in, I've done, I'm familiar with looking up Houston County and going on there. I do my taxes on there. I pay my taxes on there. I know how to work the website. But like I said, once I see it submit, it did not flip over to another page. It did not do anything except the, 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 the submit button blinked, and then <clears throat> I said, okay, it's gone through twice. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. I've got Ms. Rowland. Ms. Rowland, if you mind, I've got a question. Yes. Um, if everybody's good. Um, I'm not familiar with the whole situation that's going on. Can you help me out with a little bit of a timeline? If you, if you can. Okay. Uh, at what point in the Delta's process, when you decide to put this business there, that y'all started filing for the when we got property. the letter when we got the right. first letter okay. we did not realize that property had been there it had been a homestead for many many years and then we purchased it and we did not realize that we had to have what we had so we got the first letter well of course then we you know you start putting things in action but from the time you get the letter saying what you need and to the time you get the letter, which was not, we got the first, the letter that was telling us what we need in May. Uh, I believe it was the middle of May. I did not bring them with me. And then it was not, and then last month we got the one saying, okay, you have seven days. And this has been what, two, three, two weeks ago? That the, the posts were put up. And uh, again, we did, we did not even know, or I did not know, uh, my husband, which, is Randy Rowland. He used to work with Houston County Road and Bridge Department. Um, one was Houston County's on Houston County right away. The other one is on the state right away. Yes, so with Randy working with the county and the business that Randy has, seven driveway files. So he should be familiar with the process with doing a driveway. But he's like, he's, I did not know, and he said he was not aware that he had to have a commercial because the drives, the driveways were all together. The part, part where you drive in, he been on that property cleaning it up. And yes, he did know, but now he's been out of this since, he retired after 26 years. Yes. Things change, okay. okay? This goes under a commercial. When I did the permits, I put them under just a residential driveway. I had no, I had no idea. And he evidently didn't need it because he didn't inform me that it had to be that way. 
But so we've learned that these are considered commercial driveways. So again, it's things that you don't know. Yes, he is very familiar with a lot of the information, but like I said, things change over the years. And we've been in business for, uh, at the corner of Glen Lawrence and Jordan Avenue for over 21 years. Never had an issue with others. Mm -hmm. So like I said, my main thing, well, my main thing is, again, not having a time frame to get everything that we needed to get. And another thing is, I don't appreciate being called a liar when I know what I did. <laughs> well, I don't know about the forfeiture. I understand that. that was called, somebody was called a liar or who the uh, finger pointing said. I don't know. I, I was just trying to get a timeline there for when y'all decide to put a business there mm -hmm. up to the point of that you sort of submit for mm -hmm. Well, like I said, he's been in and out of that the whole time. It was, I mean, the machine had been up for a few weeks. I mean, several weeks, you know, and then all of a sudden, but I will tell you this, and a lot of people know it, my husband is not well liked through a lot of work for a lot of the, uh, the people uh, in the Road and Bridge Department. Um, and um, we have had some other issues that I won't go into, but uh, the main thing is right now is, and it, the funny thing is, is the guys were out there at 5.30 in the morning putting this post up. 5.30 in the morning. And I think it's, I, it, it, it's, it's clear to me and my husband that it appeared that uh, they didn't want us around when they were putting them up. It was like, put them up and go. And it was just, it, like I said, we had no chance to get things in order to get what the county needed, the road bridge department needed, to put this together. <laughs> Well, like, like the chairman said, we'll get with uh, our IT director and find out what's going on with that website. Because it has changed, so that one should be, if nothing else, have an error message pop up when you go into it, directing you to the new website. Mm -hmm. So that situation like this should not be happening. Mm -hmm. Well, I did not get an error come up. Okay. Ms. Roman, was... at, at what point were you called a liar? Um, it was... Um, I had, uh, of course, I had talked to Chris and told him that I had done that. Mm -hmm. And then I had talked to Tyler and told him. Now, um, of course, you're very familiar with Ruby Stokes, and he's one of them that uh, has come out and said that, you know, that uh, that what I did was, I mean, that I said that I did not, uh, that I did do that. And uh, like I said, it's just, it's just people who um, I know who come back and talk to other people that um, are in a, a position with a broken bridge. As a matter of fact, um, if I'm not bad, as a matter of fact, I know it is. My husband told me that Ricky Stokes said that um, the county engineer said I had lied about it. But everything he says is true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talking about Randy or the county engineer? The Ricky Stokes. Oh, 100%, yeah. 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 yeah, I believe everything you're right. That's, true. So, That's yeah. true. But again, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. I had another person tell me that somebody that was close to said that it wasn't true. Yeah. That we lied. We lied. Again, my husband didn't do those. I did. Now he called up and asked me, did I do it? And I said, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if I can make our process easier. I know that uh, there has been some issues between your husband and Roden Bridge with um, this is the not the first item not the second item probably not even third item since i've become chairman which is unfortunate so mm -hmm. let's try to do a better job of working well together everybody's got to follow the rules including the road bridge part but they implement our policies those policies have been in place for a long time and um you know i'm sorry for the confusion we'll we, we will look at the it issues and uh, well i believe that i believe that because it was at one time a residential spot and the, the driveways appeared to be where they were that Randy assumed that they were just residential driveways, yeah. which do not need all this paperwork and everything. Yeah, ne never assume, but that's, no, I, I assume all the time. Assume. I make that same mistake, so. We never assume, but again, when we got the first letter and started, okay, this is, uh, how are we doing this? You know, we've never done this before. Yeah. So again, you know, we went by what we got the letters and what was, and we knew we couldn't get that within, even not even within 30 days. Yeah. We still haven't gotten what we need yet to present to the site. Yeah, engineers take a while. It does. 
Yep. And I don't feel like we've had enough time to do what needed to be done. You don't know, you don't know what we were doing before without the seven day letter, okay? You don't know what we were putting in progress to get everything that was needed. Um, so again, I think we were just, you know, it was taken that we didn't permit the, uh, permit the permit. When I submitted the permit, he said, okay, you should have stopped right then and there. Those posts shouldn't have been put up, in my opinion. But they were. Do you have any comments? Sure. <laughs> sure. 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 One just for all the commissioners that have been involved. I know the commissioner has been involved the whole time. Um, so we noticed that a commercial business was at this address, and we sent a letter May 16th to Mr. and Mrs. Roland, letting them know what we need and to contact our office. As of June 18th, we had not heard from them and they opened business at this address. So then we sent another letter saying that you had seven days to submit the required paperwork from the first letter. Again, those seven days passed, we never heard anything. I, I'm not, I can't, I don't know with her submitting the thing, I know the old website we used for a year beforehand and those applications came to our office. I've never known of an issue that we've had with that or it would have been addressed before. Um, yeah, I just got a text from our IT director. So apparently the old site's been down since February of this year's but that doesn't mean there's a problem with a new site, so we'll we'll look into that. But, but go ahead. So anyway, I never received a phone call, any type of permit. The permit was submitted that I did receive was submitted on June 28th, which was the day after we put up the post. So for her to say she we should have put up the post after she submitted a permit. Well, we put up the post before they submitted a permit. Do we have so the, the latest permit application? Does it have everything? I know that the, it is not. And I, so what do we do? As missing? soon as I received that permit application, I sent them an email. It was on a Friday. I sent them an email the following Monday, first thing that morning, stating that it was incomplete and then to I reference, reattached our letter and said if they have any questions, have their engineer call me. So what is missing from that application currently? We have zero engineering drawings showing what they're proposed to do. Um, you know, typically a business is not going to open and then we, I mean, we don't allow businesses to open and then get in compliance. Yeah, yeah. If they shouldn't have opened until they were in compliance with our ordinance. And if that would have been the case, then nothing would have been blocked. Yeah. So they opened business prior to being in compliance with our requirements. So do you, Ms. Rowland, understand everything that is required? Do you realize yes, you know what's missing? We've got everything in place. And you're working, we're on, we're the, working on it. Okay. But the day that he came out there, I went home, which was, it was that morning, I went home right then and I said, you know, I went on the website that he gave me and I went in and I said, Mr. Roland, can you please come out here? And I went in and I submitted another one. But I don't know where that first two went. But I can tell you that I did send that. I yeah. did we'll, We will look into that. That's what Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, anytime you make a big change with the website, there's bound to be issues that, you know, sometimes it just it takes a little while to kind of flesh the bugs out. But we, we will look into that, and I'll get our IT director to and he's not on his head, but we'll, we'll look into that. We'll test that and make sure. And Tyler, if you can work with the IT department, make sure that form is working and you're receiving all everything that's submitted properly, uh, we'd appreciate it. So. All right. I got one more thing. I just want to clarify something. If that's all right with you, Jeff. Uh, Can I clarify sure, something? I guess. Yeah, I want to clarify something. <laughs> you said that you were called a liar. Was you called a liar by anybody on this commission? Yes. Straight to your face. Or is it hearsay? No, it was not to my face. Was no. it hearsay? It was from a, uh, an individual that I trust. A reliable source, you'd say. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's hearsay. Come from somebody else. Uh, was you called a liar by anybody from the Road and Bridge Department straight to your face? Not to my face, no. Okay. So that was hearsay also. Okay, I just want to clarify. Thank you. All right. I'm, I'm done with this. You are. All right.
Thank you so much. We will look into these issues. Thank you. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Ms. Jackie reminded me there was an item that is being requested to be added to the